Welcome to our series called Sound System Setup, where we go over custom systems tailored for that year make and model. This is a 2022 Peterbilt. The format on this truck hasn't changed for many years. This system will work in even older Peterbilts as well. We're gonna be taking you through the full stereo upgrade, including head unit, front speakers, rear speakers, along with two amps and two subs. So stay with us as we break this one down. Okay, so let's go over the full package that we're doing. Now we've already started this vehicle, so we're already in the middle of it. And let's talk about the radio first. So this comes stock with a single DIN radio. As you can see, the customer wanted something big and bold. So we're going with the Alpine ILX-F511, 11 inch screen. So that's gonna look good, really good in there. And we're gonna have all the nice features that we need as far as EQing, crossovers, all that good stuff, okay? So that covers that. Let's move on to the speakers. Now the front speakers are actually right above the driver and passenger head and they're actually four by sixes. So there's not a lot of four by six options out there. But what we found with these vehicles, we do like to run the Memphis PR speakers. So these speakers are a two-way coaxial. And what's cool about this speaker is the tweeter will actually pivot. So you can move that tweeter around a little bit, okay? So in that vehicle, they're, up, they're pointing right here, so you don't really need to pivot so much, maybe just slightly, but that'll come right at you, okay? So that is for the front speaker. Now, there is a set of speakers that are behind the driver and passenger seat, low, and what we're gonna do are the Memphis M-Series, the M6-2s, and this is a two-way coaxial with the aluminum tweeter and the carbon fiber cone. This also does come with a set of crossovers as well, so you have some passive crossovers that are in here. And just to mention, uh, we're not gonna be doing this, but this is what they call a convertible. So you can either run it as a coaxial or you can take it apart and use it as separates. So they do give you separate tweeter mounts. Let's take a look at the crossover. You have this small crossover that they come with. So really nice set of speakers here, really versatile. All right, so that's what comes with that. And then the power handling on these are 65 RMS and 130 peak. Now there are another set of back speakers that are actually in the sleeper and they're going to be the same. We're going to go ahead and do the four by sixes because that's what's back there. This has a short sleeper on the tall sleepers. You do run six by nines, but in this one we got four by sixes. So that's what we're going to run. All right. So for our four channel, we're running the PRX 500.4 V. This amplifier is 85 watts times four at four ohms and 125 watts times four into two ohms. Now what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to run the four by sixes together on the front channel. Okay, and that'll drop it down to two ohms and then we'll get that 125 watts for the left and 125 watts for the right. Now on the rear, we're gonna be running our six and a halves, okay? That will give us 85 watts into four ohms. We won't have true fade from front to rear, but that's okay, we're not really looking for that because uh, we're looking for loudness. So instead of, let's say, hooking up the four by sixes and the six and a halves together on the front channel and just the four by sixes in the rear, we're just gonna go ahead and put all the four by sixes together on channels one and two, channels three and four, we'll run the six and a halves. All right, now, as far as subwoofer is concerned, we're gonna go ahead and run two of these, and these are the Sundown EV.4s. We're gonna pop them in an SPL vented enclosure. Each woofer is 500 watts RMS, and these are four ohm dual voice coil, okay? So we're gonna run our voice coils together, and that'll bring us down to one ohm. And the app we're gonna run is the Memphis PRX 1000.1V, which is the matching app for the four channel. And this is 1000 watts times one into one ohm. Another thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add the audio control epicenter. So this particular customer listens to some music that doesn't have a lot of bass. So if you listen to, let's say, you know, uh, Spanish music that doesn't have a lot of bass or some old rock and roll, this is a digital bass restoration processor that will put some of that bass back in. You do have a attenuation knob uh, that you're able to control that. So we're adding that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and check out where we're putting this stuff. Okay, so the amps are gonna go in this compartment underneath the bed here. So we have both our amplifiers here and then our epicenter is gonna be right there. And then this actually came factory with a subwoofer enclosure. It looks like maybe a six inch subwoofer. We're gonna take that out. And then about that area is where we're gonna put our dual 10 inch box. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up the install and then we're bringing you guys back and show you how everything came out. All right, so we're done with the installation. Let's go ahead and check out the way this thing sounds. Definitely, definitely happy with the way this came out. You got so much bass coming out of those sundown woofers in the back and you got nice clean highs. 
coming up here and I can also hear the speakers behind me just a little bit, although these are a little more dominant, okay? So all together, a really good, clean sounding system with tons of bass. So if you got a semi and you live in the Southern California area, come see us. This guy lives in Palmdale, about two hours away from us, came all the way down uh, to get his semi hooked up. If he comes down, we'll take care of you, same day, no problem. Also, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this package put it on our website so we'll leave a link in the description below so if you got a Peterbilt and you want a system like this or actually this exact system one click of the button get you this full system for your vehicle okay again my name is Josh I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time